Hello friends, EJ here from the Back Porch Antiques, and I am fulfilling a request. I've had lots of questions about what are some of the most expensive antiques that you've had come through your store. Well, these aren't specifically some of the most expensive pieces, but these are what I will call a grouping of surprisingly expensive antiques. And, um, you know, just a little bit of a disclaimer. These are, of course, our asking prices. Uh, you know, we get a lot of keyboard warriors that want to tell us that what we've got is not really worth what we're uh, asking for it. And they may be for correct, but I also know that um, anything is only worth what somebody's willing to pay. And I've had people pay this kind of money for these sorts of things before. So just humor me and enjoy what it is that we're going to talk about today. But um, just some things that will be surprisingly expensive. And maybe you've even got them in your home and don't even know it. Uh, so we'll start with this particular piece. This is a probably 18th century, if not, um, you know, early 19th century bride's box. Now, what is a bride's box? A bride's box is a small um, piece of storage furniture, like you see here, that's usually ornate in uh, decoration, but it's made to store uh, keepsakes for a bride, usually given to her at her time of wedding. Uh, around that time. Some of these can fetch well up into the thousands of dollars uh, because they're really old and they're really ornate and they're very collectible. Uh, this particular piece uh, is priced at $2.95, which I think is a very conservative price as they fetch much more uh, at auction and, and things like this. But uh, this, is, this is a pretty good piece. Uh, everybody loves Crocs and jugs. This is a three gallon jug, um, probably from a northeastern part of the United States. And uh, we call them Yankee Crocs or Yankee Jugs because of their ornate uh, uh, availability and, and they're much different than what we see down here uh, in Southern Appalachia. But uh, this particular piece is priced at $595. But if you'll also notice, it's got really good cobalt decoration, which was um, illustrative, if you will, of the attention to detail of those potters of the day. Uh, these vessels would have been used to store wine or uh, oil or, um, you know, Obviously, anything liquid that was most valuable enough to um, to keep stored that you might need. <clears throat> so that's, um, you know, like I said, $5.95. Some of those fetch quite a bit more. Some of them in lesser condition will, will fetch less. Uh, here's an example of our Southern Appalachian um, example of uh, pottery. This is a signed Harmon uh, crock. You hear me talk about these often, but they're really hot right now. People really like them. I've uh, sold several of these from the $800 to $1,000 range. And a lot of people don't realize that. They're like, whoa, that thing can bring that kind of money all day long if it's in good condition. So you may have some of these sitting around. I've seen them oftentimes sitting in um, living rooms or even in barns. People don't know, you know, really what they've got. So go look in those barns and in those basements and see if you've got any of these. If you'll notice, though, what makes them valuable is the writing right along the edge there. It says M.P. Harmon Mohawk, or uh, an earlier example will say uh, Harmon, uh, with actually the N turned backwards. But um, those, those are pretty popular, pretty valuable. Uh, this one particularly is available here at the Back Porch Antiques for now, but I suspect it'll run out of here fairly quickly. Um, some of these early, uh, early to mid-century uh, hand tool combination sets, things like that, are pretty valuable. This is a Western brand. A uh, hatchet and knife set uh, has been cleaned up by our tool guy. He does a great job. And uh, these fetch a pretty significant price. You may look at that and think, eh, you know, that's not anything special. But actually it is. We sell those probably weekly uh, at those kinds of money. And um, they're cleaned up well. Got the original sheath. And, and um, this one is priced at 350 firm. So surprisingly more expensive than most people might think. But... Um, a good investment, good pieces. Sometimes we deal in um, Native American jewelry, and that's what we've got here. If you'll notice, everything that uh, is metallic there is sterling silver, and everything that is orange is what's called coral. Now, this particular piece is uh, attributed to a fellow by the name of Tim Key Whitman. Um, he was um, active in the 1970s. Uh, they attribute this to Navajo silver, and coral squash and it's called a blossom necklace the price on that piece is three thousand um, dollars you know with the price of silver and precious metals right now you can probably understand why that would be uh, as expensive as it is um, it's fairly heavy and and pretty valuable well done uh, so that's a pretty cool piece this beauty right here 
is a Fenton Ruby Carnival Ruby Carnival Poppy Student Lamp. So uh, Ruby Carnival is the color. Uh, Poppy is the um, uh, embossed or um, blown design there. And Student Lamp is the um, kind of lamp that it is. These are these have gone through the roof recently. Now you'll see a lot of these still sitting in homes. Uh, so again, it's something that's very valuable that a lot of people look over because it's always been in grandma's house, but it's still pretty valuable. Uh, this one is priced at fifteen hundred. I have seen like examples on some of the Facebook groups, uh, Fenton Life, uh, Fenton Lamp Life, things like that. I've seen lamps like that sell in the twenty five hundred dollar range. Um, so Fenton lamps, Fenton high end Fenton glassware is uh, fetching a a significant premium right now. Also, um, same thing up here on my front left, uh, your front right of viewing. Uh, that's a uh, Nagatha Peters, uh, Peterson um, cookie jar. She was um, well known, fairly contemporary um, in that Blue Ridge uh, pottery kind of design. I think if I if I'm not mistaken, and if I am, I'm certain somebody will tell me on on our wonderful um, YouTube channel, but. I think she worked at one time for Blue Ridge and then uh, worked independently after that. And her independent works are uh, what fetch the most value. Uh, that is a pretty uh, special piece there. It's working off of a different mold than most of them. Again, it is hand painted, uh, wonderful design by her. Um, that piece is priced at $1,100. Uh, so there are some surprisingly expensive and surprisingly valuable antiques that may be um, in your house, that may be uh, in your grandparents' house. Uh, so uh, be careful when you're going through those things or be careful when you're uh, playing baseball in the house. You don't want to knock over a $1,500 lamp. But if I can ever help you, shoot me some pictures. And uh, if you don't mind, um, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we would surely appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.